नमस्कार दिस इज मेहुल फ्रॉम फिल्टर कंसेप्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर जर्नी ऑन अवर नेक्स्ट एपिसोड नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज एयर फिल्ट्रेशन we have discussed a lot about liquid filtration in our earlier episode we have identify various parameters one should consider while evaluating liquid filters same way for air filtration there are a lot many parameters one should evaluate while designing best adequate filtration system before that we need to understand uh, what exactly air filtration is about and what are the uh, you know a typical requirement or what are that typical application where air filtration is critical or where air filtration is important air has uh, a different duties to perform and they are available in different form for us for a for a human being or uh, as a as a industry user so to to start with let's understand what are all that application where air required to be filtered in what form they are available to us and on those basis we'll understand and we'll classify that for what application of air filtration what are all parameters is to be required to consider so my my today's episode start with classifying three major application of air filtration before that let's understand air filtration as a definition air filtration as we understood understood in our previous episode removal of suspended impurities from air from any form of air this is called air filtration of course there are filters available to remove other than suspended impurities like removal of moisture removal of oil droplets or removal of fumes to to some application so they have a different classification and different duties of air filtration but in general to understand removal of suspended particles from any source of air is considered to be air filtration now what are that different sources of air for us so the first is as a as, as a common user or as a human being for us air is a source of oxygen for my body so that is that is first and foremost application where i required my intake air to be filtered so anything which which consume as human that is one of the application where air filtration is required post corona we all have understood the importance of air quality and how we should uh, we should filter that air and that's how we started wearing different class of different grade of mask we started uh, knowing what is n95 what is n99 what is three layer of uh, a mask and and uh, other grade available to the market so probably corona has uh, has educated us to understand the importance of air and what quality air we should intake as a human that is one area that is again a very classic example of air filtration since this is very much known to all of us i am not elaborating it further but yes this is this is very important that whatever air as a human we intake it has to be filtered as per who even prior to corona 
WHO has identified this this uh, uh, challenge and they have uh, they have they have declared or they have they have notified this to to, to the majority of uh, countries that you know these are the alarming situation for all of us and where we required our air to be filtered they have identify certain guideline in year 2010 probably 10 years ahead of covid-19 situation that what should be the air quality requirement so that's a different topic to discuss we'll not go into that but yes in 2010 who has identified that what could be the standard of air which we as a human should intake and which is good for our body so uh, any air quality or any air which we intake has to be of aqi from 50 to 100 now what is aqi aqi is air quality index air has lot many uh, contaminants air is a mixture of like what we studied in our typical science is air is mixture of nitrogen and oxygen now along with that we have lot many other gases available which are which are toxic gases which are not good for us so we have other than nitrogen and oxygen we have uh, uh, you know various nox sox cox and contaminants solid particulates which are not visible to us but they are present in in our air and that has to be filtered so based on these parameter your sox nox cox uh, contaminants like particulate matter people have started understanding pm1 pm2.5 pm5 that so that pm is particulate matter so analysis of all these parameter is considered as a defined as aqi that called air quality index i have simplified this to to reach to the common audience of course there are technical parameters involved in it but to make it simplify uh, to make it simple for all of us for understanding uh, these are the common parameters considered to define aqi so air quality index between 50 to 100 is considered to be good for human being and that is what who has identified that you know we should we should always maintain that limit and probably we are little late in analyzing that important parameter so aqi is one thing now what we can do as an individual to ensure that whatever air we intake has to be in that limit so we have invented air filters which could be in form of different mask they have different grades so this is a typical example of air filtration which as a as a human as an individual apply to me aqi sox nox pm 2.5 pm 1 is again a very wide subject to cover since we are we are talking about our our basic topic of air filtration we will for our reference we'll understand this uh, this as a base will not go much into depth of this subject of analyzing what is nox what is sox but these are the parameters where aqi define and that's how air filtration is important for for us as a as a human as an individual same way for industry 
there are lot of processes where they required atmospheric air as a, a common utility for their plant in some cases air is is taken as raw material so in that case also air filtration is important because again the atmospheric air we talk about it has a lot of contaminants lot of toxic gases and this need to be eliminated before its consumption before it its use so take an example of power plants so for power plants air is a common source common raw material to generate power because turbine has to take atmospheric air and this air need to be clean before it 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 goes to the uh, process even for turbine blades it's important that air has to be clean to a certain level so that's how air filtration required there take an example of you know our uh, icu hvac now uh, we claim that our icu iccus are are in a purest form where our air quality are are considered to be in safest form but uh, uh, we really need to understand how practically they are performing their filtration duty and that's the reason these air intake units are defined are are manufactured with the help of hepa filter to ensure that whatever air is coming to that icu or iccu is filtered to its purest class and that is again a very classic example of air filtration i know this is going to be a bit lengthy and it required lot of uh, you know data to analyze to to understand this subject for for you as a common audience i would i would restrict my today's episode to this level we'll take this journey of beautiful subject called filtration in our next episode with the same topic with the same discussion we'll understand what will happen to industry about their air intake application and air filtration requirement so that would be our part of discussion in next episode till then thank you so much for sharing your love and your your comments your valuable feedbacks for our episodes and appreciating so much thank you so much for your lovely contribution to us thank you